Hey guys, so this book review is number 60 for me, and I'm super excited for these because I have enjoyed doing these for you guys. And I know I say that every week, but I enjoy doing these, really. I love sharing with you guys my love of books and reading and being able to give you books that are clean and that you are able to share with family members. You're, you'll feel comfortable sharing them with your mom and your grandma out there. And I, ever since I can remember, have loved reading. And I feel like these videos are my kind of, I guess, my way of expressing my love of reading. So anyways, let's get started. Today's book is Romancing Daphne by Sarah M. Eden. And I am one who I am not big on romance books. I am more into the adventure, the mystery, suspense type books. And this was one, but it is one by the author that I like. And so I was like, hey, I'll give it a try, see how it goes. And I absolutely love this book, you guys. It is one the yeah, it's got romance in it. It's a I feel like the female lead is a she's a hopeless romantic that carries on a dream from her when she was younger and it carries on with her and she goes on a, a journey of self discovery and I love books that have character development as they go on a journey and then I love how the male character, main character as well, goes on his journey and how he kind of goes on and learns more about himself and how he learns more about those around him as well. And this book to me, it is more of an adventure than romance. It is full of intrigue, I guess you can say, and it is full of greed and deceit, lying, it's full of kind of character developments, kind of figuring out who they are and what they want for their future. And it just, it kept me on the edge of my seat. It kept me wanting more of it. And I was glad that in this book, because it is part of the Lancaster Sisters series, or Lancaster Family, I should say, series, because they're not all sisters. Anyways, the Lancaster Family in here, as they go on their journey with their future husbands and things. And then this author, I'm going to stir off track a little. The author has the Lancaster Family stories. She has the John Quill Brothers series. And she has the, her standalone books. And I love how in her John Quill Brothers and her Lancaster Family books, how they intertwine the storylines together. So, in, back on track here, in this book, I love how it's sort of a continuation of sorts to, mm, excuse me, so you get to catch up and see what her older sister, what's going on in her marriage, and then the next sister that gets married, and you get to see kind of their continuation of their story, and you get to kind of catch up a little bit on the other characters in the series of sorts. And this one, I really love how, like I said, the character development, and I love how the uh, romance aspect of it does not overpower the storyline. Like I said, it's full of intrigue and deceit, greed, and I love how on each, like, these little designs that they've got going on. When the chapter is short like that, I love these designs on here. And I have to say, in her older sister's book, Seeking Persephone, this Daph Daphne's sister, Persephone, which I've heard it pronounced Persephone. Anyways, Persephone marries the infamous Duke of Kildare, and he's known for making people cowering things and in this one he's no different and I have to say he's one of my favorite characters that I think he's not one to let things stand in his way he's just he's got this go-get personality and that's why he's one of my favorite characters but 
This book here, it is one that, like I said, the romance doesn't overpower it. And she, f I feel like we all have a little bit of Daphne in us where we have, because she has meets the male main character when she was younger. And she kind of dreams about him as she's growing up more and coming into her season. So I think all of us are, are I think, blah, 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 I, think I think that there's a little bit of her in all of us girls as we see a guy or her, we, we have a little bit of a hopeless romantic in us, is get, I guess is what I'm getting for. But I hope that you enjoyed this book review. I hope it made sense. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in next, see you Monday's video. So, we'll see you then. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.